Hey everyone, so this video is about the book Personality, What Makes You the Way You Are, written by Daniel Nettle. Now if you're interested in the book, there's a link down below. So this book basically is all about personality and Daniel Nettle looks at what he calls the big five. And so the big five that he looks at are extroversion, neuroticism, conscientiousness, agreeableness, and openness or open to new experiences. So those are what he calls the big five. Now there's other tests or personality tests out there, uh, one being the Hexaco, which looks at six different personality traits. But this one, in this book, he looks at what he calls the big five. Now, basically, he just goes in depth into what the personality types are and kind of what are the results of that personality type. So, example, he talks about conscientiousness. And he was saying that he's found a correlation between success and high levels of conscientiousness. So those who perform better at jobs or who get promoted faster, they, they're the ones who have a higher level of conscientiousness. So that's just one of the things that I found kind of interesting that I wanted to share. And so he just talks about the same thing with other sort of personality types. So example, someone who's extroverted, they're more likely to, example, travel, right? So that's just another connection that he's found. So this book just goes in depth into what your personality trait is like and what that can mean for yourself. Now, one really interesting thing is at the end of the book, there is a personality uh, test that you can do on yourself, a uh, self-assessment, and you can see just how much or how well you score on these five pers different personality types. Now he's saying that there really is no uh, personality that has, oh, it's the best personality because there are trade-offs. So example with the conscientiousness thing, uh, if you're high in conscientiousness, that th it's good because you have a greater a chance of success but one of the downfalls or one of the trade-offs is you're not able to uh, adapt really well into when it comes to be thinking on the fly or needing to change very quickly so he's saying that you know it's conscientiousness will someone who has a conscientious personality can thrive in a certain environment, but in another, it's not going to serve that person well. And so that's kind of what this uh, self-assessment is uh, for. And you can find out how this personality of yours can suit you in certain environments. And uh, yeah, so my, for myself, I enjoyed reading this book and it's a, it's a pretty good book. Uh, it's the first one I've read on personality, and you, if you're really interested in, in knowing about how you or someone else behaves or why they behave that way, then definitely check out this book. I, I definitely learned a lot about some, some of myself and why I do some of the things that I do or why I avoid some of the things that I do. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much this book. I would say it's I'd give this book a four out of five. It's a pretty good book. It's quite interesting uh, for me. I thought it was uh, quite a fascinating read. But yeah, well, anyways, thank you for watching. And uh, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down. Uh, leave a comment below on what you liked or what you didn't like, or if you've read this book. And uh, yeah, just I'd like to just hear some feedback from my audience. But yeah, well, thank you for watching. And uh, just hit that subscribe button if you want future notifications of videos that I release. And yeah, again, thank you for watching and see you. Uh, See you later. Bye for now.